Uh, so, Penny. Um, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a spot. <laughs> Her eyes are closed. <laughs> You're in my spot. Completely in my spot. I'm, I'm gonna need you to move. <laughs> Just walked into my Joanne store down in Apple Valley and I saw these. I was like, oh, one of these would go really cute with the one I got from Dollar Tree Plus. And I looked at the price. What? I paid 20, I, excuse me, I paid $3. These are 25 and 15. What are they thinking? I don't even understand. That's ridiculous. I know what's today. My birthday. How old are you? I'm currently 16. Oh, that's true. Gabe found an espresso machine at a thrift store for $30. And now he's making lattes for us. This is, what is this, Gabe? Vanilla latte? Mm -hmm. Vanilla latte. Oh, yeah. Penny's watching, watching the world. <laughs> it's party day. It's not all set up yet, but wanted to get some good pictures before all the children are here so it's hannah's 17th birthday party it's a tropical theme although the pinata is i love the 80s because i found it at the bins <laughs> and free is better than themed these are grass skirt rice krispie treats that we made over here are cupcakes that her friend made and we're gonna put little uh island because they're oreo themed that's hannah's favorite flavor and we're gonna put little island uh nope little tropical umbrellas in those so yeah it's gonna be great and chris just went to get ice but look at my super cute thrifted ice bucket i was gonna sell it at the shop but it fits my theme perfectly so i'm using it <laughs> this is our drink table this is the prize table we're gonna play some bingo and pass the coconut Pass the toasty coconut instead of hot potato. That's where we'll put cupcakes on so she can sing. we can sing to her. We'll open these up right as the party is starting and that's gonna have fruit. So we do have something healthy. <laughs> and then this is for the grass skirt rice crispy treats. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> Thrifted dress. Thrifted, obviously. <laughs> Here's the downstairs. Just little decor, nothing big. With our new furniture. Someday this will be a patio. Oh, my uh, palm tree turned around. There's my palm tree. <laughs> it's cute, right? From the Dollar Tree. I'll show you the upstairs. Here's the deck. Hannah made a picture wall so she can take pictures with her friends. And then we just have a few things out. Got these at a yard sale, little torches. They have oil in them, we'll light them later. Put them in pots with pebbles so they won't blow over. There we go. Ready for the shindig. Small fountain. Just Coke, but really pretty, right? Yes. So Kay is here to, to help out. I don't know. My mom it's your special day. <laughs> I'm actually pretty impressive. I did it while watching Glee. <laughs> 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 Happy birthday 
Chris has Penny down in the yard. We're teaching our children how to use a record player. I'm scared to start it after it's spinning. He got a haircut. That was a whole fiasco. So he nipped at his regular groomer. So he was discharged from grooming services there. He's no longer allowed to go back. Because now he has a nipping history, which apparently they do as they get older. So I had to take him to a vet who has a groomer and they're more used to old dogs. And he nipped at her a little bit. Overall, he did fine. But now he's shivering. That's why we usually put a sweater on him. Because when he doesn't have his hair, despite the fact that it's summer, he gets the shivers. So I'll probably put a sweater on him later. Hooper! Oops! Hooper! Hi, buddy! Hi, buddy! Here's the best way to go grocery shopping to save money. Have it delivered. Because <laughs> then you're not in the store, so you don't buy things you don't have on your list. All right, I'm gonna put my groceries away. I got some random things, some produce. I mean, this was a very small haul just to get us through. My regular grocery day is gonna be Wednesday, but I needed a few things for lunches for the people who are working and make lunches. And Molly likes her strawberries, got her strawberries. Got an eggplant, make this for myself for lunch. This is for a red cabbage recipe because I read that it's very good to eat purple produce, which includes eggplants and red cabbage as well as blackberries, which I always eat. So that's what that's all about. And I also got this and some more whole wheat flour because I've been making bread in the bread maker, which I will put up a video about. And it's delicious. So I wanted to, you know, have a little stockpile of the ingredients for it. And then this is just to add to my longer term pantry we use these beans plus tonight is chili night but i think we have some beans so. i got some cheese for my eggplant recipe for lunch and also just some cold cut cut turkey nope i got the chicken the turkey we had got some cold cut chicken uh because gabe likes that for his lunches and he goes to work makes a lunch pretty frequently a few times a week. If you watch my other channel, Nicole North Garden Thrifter, you might know that I picked these up at a yard sale for very inexpensive. They are ball company uh, silicone freeze trays, basically. And so what will this enable, what this will enable me to do, when I open a jar of sauce, I often don't use the whole thing because a lot of times we're not serving family meals, but like today I'm using it in some eggplant Parmesan that I'm making for myself for lunch. But a jar of sauce is supposed to be used within seven days. Not a good chance that I'm going to use it up unless I plan a pasta meal, which isn't really on the meal plan right now. But I have this recurring problem of always needing just a little bit of sauce. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to, um, you know, account for what I'll be using today. But then I'm going to put the rest into one of these trays or maybe two, depending on how much is left over after I make my eggplant parmesan and then I can freeze it. And then the next time I wanna make a little something for lunch, I can just pull out a few cubes. So there you go, I'm not wasting sauce like I was. Okay, so here's my leftover sauce. It's about somewhere between two thirds and three quarters of a jar that's left here. And then when we make pasta, cause sometimes we make multiple sauces. Well, some people want red sauce, some people want Alfredo. So this will enable us, you know, we could just pop out a few cubes for whoever wants red sauce. And then if we do the same thing with the white, it could be the same thing. So anyway, super happy with this product. I don't know where you'd get them in like real life because I got mine um, at a yard sale, but maybe on Amazon, I haven't checked, or maybe Target, who knows? All right, see you later. See, perfect solution. It's the next day, I'm making more of my eggplant and I just needed three, maybe four sauce cubes. So I just popped them out. This is fabulous. What I'm using my sauce for, it's not eggplant parm. It's more like eggplant marinara. So I just kind of pour, 
Let's, oh, well, so I baked my eggplant for 15 minutes first, and then I just put sauce all over them, and a little mozzarella cheese, not breaded or anything, you know. It's not like a normal eggplant parm, but it's a healthy way to eat eggplant. Oh, I'll also be adding, hold on Fresh parsley from my garden, yay. Just a little, a little bit ski. All right, let me get and the I cheese. just bake it for another 20, 25 minutes. And it's delicious for lunch. And here it is, all baked. Yummy, yummy. I'm gonna go have my lunch.